if I'm running five miles per hour and I've run 0.13 miles, then how long have I been running for? Now, you're probably wondering, how the heck do I solve this? Well, I'm about to teach you. First, let's talk about speed, distance, and time. They're all connected and they're used in the same equations. There are three equations like the one in green that we can get from a simple triangle diagram like this one. This triangle can help you out a lot when it comes to solve speed, distance, and time equations. The formula above the triangle is speed equals distance over time. There is the division line in the equation that resembles the division line in the triangle separating distance from time. Since distance is on top of time, it would translate to distance divided by time. The only thing left out in this equation is the word speed. So we put that as the result of the equation, speed equals distance over time. You can also create another equation with the triangle. What if we want to find time? Let's write time equal so we can get rid of that in the triangle. The only two things left in the triangle are distance and speed. Distance is on top of speed with a dividing line between them, so the other half of our equation would be distance over speed. We found speed and time, but now we have to solve for distance. Let's start with the first half of our equation, distance equals. We can now cross out distance from the triangle, and the only two words left are speed and time. Since speed and time are right next to each other, we are going to multiply them. Speed and time would now become speed multiplied by time, and our new equation would be distance equals speed multiplied by time. We know all of our equations, so let's solve some problems. A car is on the highway. It drives 300 miles over the course of 6 hours. What is the car's average speed? We need to solve for speed, so the equation is speed equals distance over time. The distance the car drives is 300 miles, and the time it drives is 6 hours. So the car's speed is 300 miles over 6 hours. 300 divided by 6 is 50, but we also need to include both of the units in our equation. We divided the miles by the hours, so the answer would be 50 miles per hour, or 50 mph. Now let's solve for time. If Tom is jogging at a pace of 5 miles per hour and travels 15 miles, how much time was Tom jogging for? Our equation we need to solve is time equals distance over speed. If we plug in the numbers we have, we get time equals 15 miles divided by 5 miles per hour. The word miles is common on the top and bottom of the equation, so we can cross it out. This means that our answer will be the remaining unit, hours. 15 divided by 5 is 3, so the only uncommon unit is hours. So the answer to the problem is time equals 3 hours. Last but not least, let's solve for distance. If Sarah is cycling 15 miles per hour for 4 hours, how far did she cycle? The equation for distance is distance equals speed multiplied by time. If we plug in the numbers, we get distance equals 15 miles per hour times 4 hours. 15 times 4 is 60, but as always, we need to add units to our answer. Hours is a common unit here because it appears twice, so they cancel each other out. The only uncommon unit is miles, so the answer is distance equals 60 miles. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. And besides, what's not to like about likable science?